hi friends welcome back to angular tutorial in this video we will going to show you how to pass data from parent component to child component okay so this is very interesting now i will create a component that will be the child component and the parent component of angular is the app component okay so inside the app component.html we can see this text so this text are coming from parent component so let's create a child component first so i am creating a component that is the products component so how we can create component to create angular component we need to write ng for angular g for generate c for create and the name of the component that is products okay so now enter this so here we can see the four components file are created and updated the app dot module dot ts so if we just go to the browser we can see there is a new component is created that is products component and all files related to this component are inside this products folder and also in the app dot module dot ts these are imported okay so this is imported and here also the module this is imported okay so now this is ready so now to use the product component so just go to the products app component dot ts here you can see the selector that is app products so just use this inside the app component dot ts file okay so sorry app component dot html file so just use this tag and we can see the app component that is the products component works okay so now just change some text into this product component so here I write the products works so here i am just simply writing that is this is child component so inside the ac tag i am writing this this is child component okay so don't be confused so now this is coming from child component that is the product component and this is the app component dot html files text okay so now how to pass data from parent component to child component so for this now create a property inside the app component dot ts file suppose this is my app component dot ts file and now i want to create a property suppose i am creating a property that is type so here the type is suppose i am providing value that is computer parts okay so this is the type and now i want to get these things from child component okay so how we can get this now just go to the words component.ts and here we can see in the import section in the angular core there is already imported component on init now i want to import some things to see in the child component so we need to write the input okay so to get any things from parent component write input okay so now to get access of the input value we need to use this inside this class so write input in this way as it is a function we need to use this with a function argument and i will create a different property with the parent component so here is the property name type so i am using the p type that is the product type okay so how we will get this p type so we need to pass this p type from app component dot table so here we are accessing the app products so we need to pass the p type from here so how we can do pass this so right here p type okay and we will call the type so this is the property of parent component okay so this is the parent component property and the p type we will use in the child component property okay so now we can access this so if we just go to the products.component.html file so here we can get access of p type so if we simply write inside suppose i am taking a ac tag and if we just going to print 
these things we can get access okay so product type is so we will get access of p type okay so now if we just go to the browser we can get access of this value so just go to the browser so the product type is computer parse so from where the computer parse is coming actually this value is setting from app component dot ts that is the parent component file okay so in this way we can pass any objects also so if you write suppose i am taking a variable that is data and inside the data i am going to create a object suppose name so name is suppose keyword the name is suppose keyboard okay so i am creating basically the items of products so the name is keyboard and suppose the color of keyboard is black so right here so basically this is the object okay so we can access these things also so we need to pass this from the app component dot html so in this way take another that is the property name is data so here i am taking that is as a product item okay so simply rise p item okay and we can get access of this thing from the products component dot ts so we just go to the product component dot ts and use this that is write input and already know this is the function and get access of this product item okay so in this way if we pass any things we will accept this and as we are accepting these things we can use from the products component dot html file so just go to the products component dot html file and we can get access so print here like this so inside the ul and inside the li so we are writing the item name item name equal to what so item name equal to the p type and dot object key that is p item so basically p item is these things okay so there is name sorry so we need to write the name okay and the same way we will print the color also so item color equal to this color okay so very easy just clearly see this we are passing value from app component dot ts and we are getting this value from products dot component dot html this is the child component html file so now if you go to the browser we can see the item name keyboard and item color black so in this way we can pass data from parent component to child component okay so this is the main concept so very easy maybe for first time you will take some time to understand this but once you are habituate of these things you can do it easily and another things i want to show you right now and that is if we access this app component dot html file and if we just use these things multiple times that means we are using the app products that is the products component multiple time so if you just go to the browser we can see the repeated things okay so basically we are reusing the same things again and again so if you have array of multiple items such like for computer purse there is keyboard mouse monitor everything okay so how we can pass the array also so just go to the dot ts so here i am creating this as an array so in this way so write name equal to keyboard and in the same way we'll pasting some different things so basically i am making a object type array so right here mouse also so i am changing that is red and the keyboard is black and the monitor okay so suppose monitor the monitor is suppose pink okay so anything so just for example and 
this is the array so how we can get access of all these things so just go to the app component html files so we'll not include app products every time so we will use the looping concept and inside the loops we will print all these things so how we can do this so just create a div okay and inside the div we will call this app products and we will use the for loops for this so right here that is ng4 and we will call the loop so right here let the suppose i am taking a variable that is prod for product and of the which so of the data okay so write all these things inside the double invited comma or single invited comma as your choice and now the prod that is for product and we'll pass this as a p item okay so we'll get a single value inside the prod and as it is running the loop so if we go to the browser we can see all the records so we can see all the records that is keyboard mouse and monitor okay so in this way we are getting access of all those things so in this way we can pass data from parent component to child component and we can use the same component using the loops now we understand how to reuse a component also okay so this is all about the data passing from parent component to child component so if you have any queries about this video please comment in a below comment section so next day i will going to show you the reverse things that is we will pass data from child component to parent component so don't miss this video and please like and subscribe this channel for upcoming video thanks for watching this video have a good day